And joining us, Sam O'Toole from New Frontier Ag in McCook, Nebraska. We've had Sam on for a number of times. We'd like to get on quarterly, but it's been a few months since we've been able to talk to him and get his take on what's going on with this uh, machinery business. And so, Sam, always, always good to catch up with you. Well, thank you. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, we haven't talked since the winter. We're now into spring, almost early summer. How has the winter gone, and, and, and what's kind of the hot items right now in, into this springtime? Kind of a strange uh, springtime with this much moisture everywhere. Uh, planters were really hot early in the, the spring. Um, the um, haying equipment uh, has been late um, starting out. It's really starting to go here um, a couple months later than normal. Um, small tractors um, seem to be, again, haying type tractors, that type of thing has been going here pretty good. Um, the, big, uh, the big horsepower tractors, uh, the combines seem to kind of be a little slow. Well, that's what we're kind of seeing from uh, Associated Equipment Manufacturing. Uh, so the four-wheel drives seem to kind of, they're, they're off their high, but we did see maybe a small pattern of of uh, some combine sales just kind of getting in, but don't you think because of the uncertainty of harvest, we, we probably won't see a big push for combines? Or what do you think? Oh, probably. Uh, there's actually, um, it just depends on the models, it, it seems like. We got some models that are selling fairly decent and, and uh, some that we just have way too much inventory in the United States on and, and we gotta kind of see a, um, a slowdown on those, those models. We still we we still pretty hot for for green equipment, or is, does it really matter whose whose it is? Are, are they looking? Are, are farmers looking for for value or for the, or, the or, or or price or just or those trusted ones that they they know they can they can get good service on? Oh, I think you got both buyers. I mean, I I don't think uh, there hasn't been a lot of uh, loyalty switching just because of price or or you know because of that. So. What about uh, some financing options? Uh, we like to talk to you about kind of, you know, you have a lot of different ways in your business as far as folks want to do cash, maybe uh, uh, traditional financing on traditional. Uh, is leasing still um, what it was, say, maybe a year ago? No, leasing uh, from the big companies, Deer and Case and stuff, they have, it's not near as attractive as it used to be. Um, your other banks, Ag Direct, uh, TCI, some of those, they still have some attractive programs for uh, maybe a year old, couple year old tractors, uh, uh, equipment sprayers, that kind of thing. Go ahead. We're talking with Sam O'Toole from New Frontier Ag. We're going to take a quick break and be back with more in just a moment.